Hey guys and welcome to another video. This video is acting as a companion video to the ho um, host your own vanilla server and also the download and install T-Shock video because um, what we're going to do is port forwarding. If you don't want to use Hamachi and the Terraria's the vanilla server automatic port forwarding is not working for you then that means you have to port forward yourself it's really easy to do I'm just going to show you how to do that but I just want to point out it will work for the vanilla server and it will work for the T-Shock server okay so the first thing you want to do is set up a static IP address so we're going to go into our start menu CMD for our command prompt and here I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Just do IP config forward slash all. Find the adapter that you're currently using. It's probably going to be your Ethernet adapter, your local area connection. Okay, a few uh, addresses that you want to take note of is this physical address. Okay, take note of it or write it down. You'll have to remember that because when we go into your router there might be more than one MAC address showing you want to make sure you get the right one okay so like I said this is the physical address or MAC address that's it right there next address you want to keep uh, an eye out for is this IPv4 address okay write that one down and lastly you want to keep track of your default gateway right here okay so this default gateway number, this IP address right here, this is what we're going to work with right now. So if you open up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, I'm just using Chrome. See, I've entered 10.0.0.1 because that was my default gateway. And then I was prompted to enter my username and password. If yours asks for a username and password, you can pick up your router, look at the bottom, see if it tells you your username and password on the bottom. It may have been changed, so ask um, somebody in your house for the username and password. Most likely, you're probably the most IT tech savvy person in your house, so it's up to you to do a Google search on the make and model of your router and find out what the default username and password are. Okay, so that's how you get in. Now what you're going to look for is something called DHCP server. Okay. Now the DHCP server, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol server, this is what serves up IP addresses. So let's say uh, a computer turns on in somewhere in your network or you plug in your wire to a new computer. It's going to query this DHCP server and it's going to ask it for the address. Um, that you know it's gonna ask it for an address so the DHCP server will give it an address as well as the subnet mask and the default gateway and and then it's joined to the network so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a DHCP listing and binding yours might say MAC address binding or physical address binding something like that or DHCP reservation something like that and that's where you wanna go because we are gonna instead of our computer asking for an address this um, router is gonna tell my computer what it's gonna get so um, as you can see this is the MAC address that we looked at earlier and this is the IP address we looked at earlier so we want to give this permanently to my computer so it doesn't get a dynamic one but it gets a static one okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter the information up here and then hit add. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now I'm going to hit add. It says duplicate address because I've already done that right here. Okay, make sure that this checkbox is enabled. Now I know yours is going to look different. I'm going to give you guys an um, a website that's going to show you a whole bunch of different router types, makes and models, and it's going to go over port forwarding so um, you guys can get through this process. Alright, so after you bind the MAC address with the IP address, next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to actually go into our port forwarding. So you're going to go into something that says either gaming, port forwarding, port range forwarding. Mine says virtual server. Okay. Now port range forwarding and port forwarding are the same. Port forwarding is just you're you're forwarding a single port, and port range forwarding is you're porting a series of ports, and in order to a certain um, IP address. So the IP address that we want to forward it to, of course, is our 100, because that's the one we just binded to this computer. So the ports that we're going to use, you, know, you can really actually use whatever ports you want. Just don't use a common port. So don't use anything under 1,000 or 1,500. Use something higher if you're going to make up a port to use. I'm just going to use the standard Terraria port of four sevens. Okay. And the protocol is going to be UDP and TCP. So we'll do both. We'll enable it. And we'll hit apply. And now you're done. So when your friends connect to your public IP address, right? Because it's going to be, you're going to go to let me just show you real fast. You're going to go to what's my IP address dot org, and then it's going to show you your IP address right here in the middle. I can't actually do that now because I'm not on the internet. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you why you pull forward. So I'm running the vanilla server, and right here, server port. So you can just press enter for the default, and then now the automatic port forwarding. The reason you're port forwarding manually is because this, for some reason, is not working for you, or you're running a T-Shock server. Okay. In order for this automatic port forwarding to work, I'm I'm just gonna zoom out. You would need this UPnP. You, your your router would have to support this. See, I have it enabled, so I don't actually have to port forward if I'm using a vanilla server, okay? Because it allows um, the Terraria server to automatically do it. But yours, for some reason, is not working, or your router doesn't support it, okay? So anyway, we're just gonna. Hit no, we don't want to use automatic port forwarding and no password. So now I'm running this vanilla server. But what if you want to run a T-Shock server too? Right? You want you want both of them. So people can connect to this one and people can can connect to this one, but what happens is you have to give them different ports, okay? This is 7777. I can't give the same port to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our port forwarding and I can give this another port address. I can give it 7776. Okay. Now you may have picked up by now um, in port range forwarding, port range forwarding covers a beginning address all the way through and including the ending address or, or port, sorry. So I could actually change this to a 7776 and leave that one, 7777. And now I'm, for, I'm port forwarding both of these addresses with only a single entry. Now if it was just single port forwarding, I would have to make two different entries, but this is port range forwarding. So I can just do it like that. After that's been successful, then you look here. I'm just going to load a different world because you can't load the same world. And I'm going to choose a different port address. And now, and now I've successfully um, hosted two servers on my computer. Now, you're not limited to two. You can do as many as your internet connection can handle and as many as your computer can handle. So you would just need to create another folder you just have to duplicate this T-Shock folder and call it something else. Same thing with the Terraria server, just 
um, either put it into a, another folder or you can rename it but you, you'll have to have multiple instances of this or multiple instances of this. See, that's why I can only have two, because I only have one of each. So you can, you can set up a lot of uh, servers to run at the same time. Anyway, guys, I hope I covered all the common questions you guys are having and problems. Um, I can't think of anything else at this time, but leave me a comment if this isn't clear or if you need help still. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching.